All right, everyone, we start off today talking once again about impeachment, the, the thing that's probably not going to happen. But looking ahead for the uh, 2020 election, if an impeachment proceeding actually exists, uh, not just an inquiry. Right now, it's gone from an informal inquiry where it was basically just the Democrats asking questions of people semi-formally, closed-door meetings uh, in a very political and, and partisan sense to a formal inquiry, which the Democrats did not want. Uh, they were forced into it by the Republicans. There's a reason why Trump wanted them to do that, because I don't think that Pelosi ever expected to actually impeach. I think the idea was to have simply the idea of an inquiry over Trump's head to decline his popularity, make it look like he's embroiled in the scandal, even if you don't have anything to go on. Now, though, there's the possibility going forward that either their hands are forced again, or they find something they think is substantive enough to at least impeach him in a partisan show trial. If that happens, it goes to the Senate. The problem is that the Democrats would be handing Mitch McConnell the power to essentially sequester six out of seven days of the week some of the Democratic candidates. It would, it would interrupt the debate schedule. It would interrupt everything about the Democratic primaries. Because if you look at the list of people that are running Quite a few of them are senators, including two sitting senators that are in the front of the pack, namely Elizabeth Warren and Bernie Sanders. Their campaigns would not be too happy about that. For all of the bravado about impeach him, impeach him, impeach him, I have a feeling that Sanders and Warren especially do not want Trump impeached. No, absolutely not, because it would take at least a month, probably longer, for the Senate to go through the motions. And Trump is likely to do something, and I think this might even be his plan, because I think he wants to run against Biden because he's incoherent. I don't think Sanders or Warren could win either, but at the very least, they'd be less of an embarrassment. Here's what I think he would do. Force an impeachment proceeding and tell Mitch McConnell, keep it going as long as you can. Keep him out of the race. Six days out of seven, they won't be able to campaign. They'll be stuck in D.C. How are they going to campaign? They're going to be sitting there five, six hours a fucking day talking to people. going to be hard for them to go to a rally. Hell, with a dude, with people of that particular age range, you know, Warren is 71 or 72, Sanders is approaching 80, that could really take the shit out of them. Isn't, is Kamala Harris House or Senate? I almost think she's a senator as well. As for Booty Judge, of course, he's a former mayor of South Bend, so he doesn't have that problem. So what, it's going to be Biden and, and Booty Judge out campaigning and that's going to be the field? Watch what happens to their support as they're no longer capable most days out of the week of actually doing anything. Trump, meanwhile, doesn't have that problem. He doesn't even have to field a legal defense. He'll just, he'll just say fuck it and leave it to Mitch McConnell, who will lock things down in proceedings for months and months, hopefully. Then he can let up right before the election, make it clear that the Senate has not decided to remove Trump from office long after Biden's become the nominee. Well, it'd be funny. And it would rip the Democratic Party apart. You see, the thing is that it would look like a partisan ploy to keep them out of the race. And you can imagine, there'll be some, some definite deep ops going on with the right, trying to convince Bernie Sanders voters, especially if they just got schlonged. They won't be entirely wrong, because the neolibs under Pelosi will have handed a victory to Donald Trump over some of his adversaries. There's nothing really more to be said. The impeachment proceedings are a farce. They proceed on the idea of a scandal that does not exist. There is no scandal. The only scandal is Hunter Biden being paid to do a job he didn't even know how to do under his daddy as VP at the time, getting into a Ukrainian firm that was embroiled in a bunch of diplomatic bullcrap hand-wringing. Now we've got a different report that apparently it sought a partnership with some Obama outreach or fundraising group. And I'm not sure the entire details of that. I just saw that earlier. Somebody DM'd me. Somebody can maybe tell me more about it on Twitter or wherever. If that's the case, well, then the thought plickens, I guess. It's uh, crazy to see how the Democrats have twisted themselves into knots and the far left keeps getting antagonized by the Trump. He knows how to antagonize like an AOC or somebody like that. He's got them in impeachment frenzy. They're crying out for blood right now, demanding that the Democratic Party proceed. Trump wants that, I think. There's already an inquiry going on. It hasn't, by the way, affected his approval. It's very funny when I'm supposed to believe polls that say that uh, the approval for the idea of impeaching him is higher than the disapproval level uh, among citizens. That makes absolutely no sense to me because that insinuates that there are some hundreds of thousands or millions at least of Americans that approve of Trump's job, but they still want him removed from office. 
by the way, impeachment's not quite the same, and it looks like approval for impeachment is declining, which is exactly what's happened in the past. This happened with Bill Clinton. Bill Clinton, they start impeachment proceedings and he becomes more popular. The problem is right now Trump can't fully capitalize on that because it's a packed Democratic field. Once he's running against one person, once there's a nominee or a presumptive nominee, which we'll know probably at the end of Super Tuesday, once and certainly by the middle of March, once that happens, Trump will have a single face opposing him. People then have to make a judgment. It won't be, do you like Sanders or Warren or Biden or Woody Judge or any of these other Democrats or Trump? One man versus a whole army of, of candidates. It looks like Bloomberg is getting in now, which is going to be hilarious. He's going to land with a thud. If he becomes the Democratic nominee, Lord save the Democratic Party, I suppose, because he'll get torn to shreds. Yeah, you know what the answer is to an old white billionaire? Another old white billionaire from the same city. That'll work really well. By the way, the dude's a total scuzzwad who's not even liked by the people of New York. It'd be hilarious. Michael Bloomberg. And then Trump just sits, sits back. What Trump should do if that happens, he says, oh yeah, I'll stand down. I'm, I'm going to endorse Rudy Giuliani for the presidency. He's going to run in my stead. It'll be hilarious. That'd be a funny one. By the way, Giuliani would probably sweep the floor with him, uh, despite the fact that he's getting, uh, what was he at now? Fucking 76? Why are all these people elderly uh, in politics these days? Impeachment proceedings wouldn't have harmed Biden. Biden's not in office. He's the former VP. He's got all the time in the world to fritter away, spinning around on stage talking to a wall, which he appears to be doing now more and more often. It's a joke, by the way. Uh, just before someone says I'm a conspiracy theorist, yes, I'm aware that that was edited video. It's semi out of context due to the, <laughs> the close-in shots that the Democrats choose to use all the time to obscure their poor turnout numbers. But if Sanders and Warren especially aren't there because they're locked into impeachment proceedings, and especially if they drag on and it looks like the Democrats are kind of kicking the can down the road, it's going to look a lot like Pelosi just wants Biden to be the nominee. And I guarantee there will be people that'll you know, say that, then it won't be just uh, half jokingly like I am. There's a chance it's true. They obviously don't want Sanders. Now, of course, in Pelosi's mind, she doesn't want Sanders to be the nominee because she doesn't think she can win, uh, that he can win. I happen to agree with her, but still, the DNC shouldn't be picking favorites. And as far as Warren, she's, you know, collapsing in the polls right now. She's down five, six points since her peak. Her peak for a single day was above where Joe Biden has been for months and months. Poor Warren. If she comes out with a health care overhaul, people instantly notice, hey, this sounds familiar. Isn't this Bernie Sanders' plan? Only he actually bothered to explain the ins and outs of how he was going to have to tax people who are fundamentally middle class. She's not honest enough to admit that, I suppose. You know, and I've got a little bit of a distraction here, as you may see, but you know, it's worth it. Anyway, that's about all anyway. So that's about all. Peace out.